Hi everyone, Don Dorf here to talk about the V-Watch personal voltage detector. Let's start off with the best way to wear it, and that is by, we're going to take the device and put it around our neck. Once we put it around our neck, we want to have it mid-torso. The best position is always mid-torso, middle of your body. And now we can move it by taking the lanyard in the back and moving up or down wherever we feel comfortable wearing it. So once we have it placed in the middle of our torso, first we want to test the device and make sure it's working. The way we're testing it is by pulling this actuator up. We want to make sure we hear the audible and visual alerts when we turn the device on. If it turns off, we're going to hear the audible and visual alerts when it turns off. So this is turning it on. Again, we want to make sure the audible and visual alerts. This is doing a self-check of the unit. It's checking the unit and it's checking the batteries. If the batteries aren't working, these lights will stay red, tell me the unit's not working, the battery's not working. So short beeps and short lights is a good thing. So now that we have the unit on, we're making sure it's working, you'll see this red band is showing. This red band is what we call our peer check. So you want to make sure anybody that we're working with, they can see their red band. You'll have guys, they'll put this around their neck, they'll think it's working when they have it around their neck. They need to make sure it's activated and we see this red band showing again. That's our peer check and work with everyone out in the field to make sure that this red band shows that it, they actually have the unit activated. Alright, now that we've determined the correct placement, we know the tool is working. Next step we want to do is we're wearing this on our, on our, on our chest, mid-torso. If we're out scouting for any down wire, we're going to walk. Slow beep, flashing lights. Beeps and flashing lights increase as we get closer. And then it goes solid. I'm sure that one more time. So from back here, I'm getting nothing. And as I walk closer, slow beep, flashing light, beeps and flashing light increase, and then it goes solid. When it goes solid, our training is to stop where we're at. We turn ourselves around, and then we take ourselves out. All right. What we don't want to do is walk forward and keep walking forward. We don't want to walk backwards. We can trip and fall. We want to turn ourselves around. And we notice as I turn around, the beep stops. My body's blocking the electric field. This is the reason we don't want you to walk backwards. We put ourselves in a dangerous place. So the idea is always device is going off. Stop where you're at. Turn yourself around. And then take yourself out. All right? Questions asked a lot is it directional? Device is directional. Let's say if I'm walking parallel with the wire and this wire is buried behind a bush, I can still say, where is this wire at? I can stop and say, is it to my left? It's to my right. I don't want to go this way. This is the way I want to go to take myself out. So the device isn't directional. Your body is what blocks the field, as you notice by turning the body. One of the questions that get asked a lot about a V-Watch, is it rainproof, is it waterproof? We consider device to be rainproof. Uh, one of the things I like talking about that is these guys, if they're wearing a jacket, if it's raining out, should they keep the device underneath the jacket or outside their jacket? So we'll turn the device on, just show walking up, right? Now what if I was to take a jacket and put my jacket on? So I still get the audible and visual alerts, I just can't hear it as well and see them as well. So the, the cloth itself is not blocking the electric field. <laughs> But if there's any bad conditions out, whether it be rain, snow, sleet, our position is we want everyone to have it outside their jacket at all times. A lot of questions get asked a lot. What if I'm out walking around the field with a clipboard? And you'll see if I'm walking up, the reaction I'll get. Now let's say if I have a clipboard in front of me, how the clipboard reduces my detection distance. So the best safety practice for out walking around for any down wires, let's not put anything in front of our safety devices it being the V-Watch. Some people we get sometimes from customers, they don't like the unit with something that's flopping out in front of them. So we've actually, what we've installed is there a clip on the back, and this clip can be moved in any direction. So I happen to have a shirt pocket, I could take it and lock it into my shirt pocket and stop it flopping in front of me. I can take it and turn it and lock it into my shirt. Or I can take it and put it in, lock it into any fall protection gear or safety vest that I might have in front of me. All right. Concern that we have is if they don't like it flopping in front of them, they say, I don't want to wear this lanyard around my neck. They can take it, they'll take it and they'll put it on their hip. And the concern when it's on your hip, you put yourself in a bad place because your body again is blocking that field. So we always talk about wearing it mid-torso, the best protection that you're going to get is always keeping it in the middle of your body.
So another feedback comes of talking about the one flapping out in front of you. They're worried about, is this thing going to hang me up on something? If I'm wearing this around my neck, this catches it. Will it strangle me or catch me up on something? So this will, if it catches something, it will break away and pull away, completely pull off. So we'll never, if they're worried about strangling or catching up on something, it's a breakaway lanyard and it breaks away.